Two major tasks accomplished during root canal treatment are cleansing the nerve space that lies inside the tooth and then filling in and sealing off this cleansed space so to make it difficult for debris and bacteria to re-enter and recolonize this area. Beyond this first seal that's created during the root canal process, there's yet a second seal that plays an important role in the long-term success of a tooth's treatment. That's the seal created by the dental restoration that's placed that both restores the tooth to its original shape and fills in the access cavity through which the dentists perform their work. The need for this seal is as follows. A person's mouth contains bacteria and assorted debris, and if these items are successful in seeping past the dental restoration that's been placed in the tooth's access cavity, the likely result will be the recontamination of the tooth's root canal system and, ultimately, the failure of the tooth's root canal treatment. Dentists use the term coronal leakage when referring to this phenomenon, and after completing a tooth's therapy, they must make a determination about what type of restoration seems best suited for preventing it and the time frame during which this restoration should ideally be placed. In those cases where it's just a matter of filling in a small conservative access cavity, a regular dental filling may suffice. However, in those situations where treatment has been performed for a tooth that already has a sizable filling or a significant amount of tooth decay, a filling may not be the best choice. Comparatively large fillings are more likely to fail over the long term and they don't have the ability to protect a tooth as fully as some other types of dental restorations. Clearly, if a tooth cracks or breaks, or a dental filling wears out, breaks, or dislodges, the likelihood of the tooth experiencing coronal leakage increases. So, for those situations where the need at restoration must replace a substantial amount of missing tooth structure, a dental crown is typically the best choice. This is especially true for teeth, like molars, that must withstand heavy chewing forces. Dental crowns provide excellent protection for teeth from breakage or fracture, and the nature of their design creates a substantial barrier to coronal leakage. Additionally, they are typically long-lasting restorations that can be expected to maintain their integrity, including their seal, over the long haul.